Hi friends, Valentine's Day is coming up shortly. So today I'm going to teach you how to make a Valentine wind sock. You're going to need either paint or um, watercolors here. Of course, if you use paint, you're going to need some kind of brushes. You're going to need a toilet roll. You will need scissors. These are tissue paper. Um, if you don't have tissue paper, you can use anything from construction paper or um, uh, the streamers, party streamers. And you, ha you can use ribbons and we will also need a hole puncher. Okay, so let me move these out of the way. And the very first thing you are going to do is paint your toilet roll. Today, I'm using paint. So I've already put paint in uh, this little crate here, this little bowl here. Use any kind of bowl that you have. As long as it's not a bowl that you use for eating, <laughs> that will be fine. So move these out of the way here. I'm going to paint this toilet roll pink. So here's my pink, it's all ready to go. I'm going to hold it on one side, hold my hand on the other side, and I'm just gonna brush my roll away from me. And if you guys notice, I use yellow construction paper to um, lay on my carpet so I do not make a mess and therefore do not paint my carpet. So you see how I'm rolling it, painting away from my hands here. And I'm not putting too much, friends, because if I put too much paint, it won't dry as quick, okay? So depending on your paint, you might have to go over it a second time around um, if you want it to be a little bit um, brighter, okay? If your paint's not as bright like this one, you might want to go over it a second time around. Okay, I'm finished with this side. Now I want to try the other side. I'm holding it one side where it does not get on my hand and then I'm slowly painting where away from my fingers. Okay, so let's see, keep on going there. I'm gonna put down my paintbrush. I'm going to carefully touch the very end of this part and then turn it around here. And then I'm going to keep painting there. Keep painting here. You wanna make sure you cover up the whole toilet roll, okay? So here we go. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to find another dry spot. Oopsie. And don't do what I just did. Um, my brush fell into the white paint, so don't do that. <laughs> but it does happen and that's okay. Let me see if I can find a dry area where I can touch. Maybe up here, this might be a little bit dry. Maybe, not really. Okay, find a dry spot. Try to find a dry spot and there we go. It's falling into my paint again. <laughs> All right, let's try it. So keep on painting your toilet roll until you have all the white spaces are gone. Kind of like when you're coloring, you do not want to leave any white spaces. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it there for now. I'm going to let it dry and let's do part two. And let me put my paintbrush in a different one so it doesn't get on my carpet or anywhere else or fall into the paint again. Part two, as the toilet roll is drying, let's get our tissue paper. And we are just gonna cut, okay, strips of tissue paper. So I already have my red and white. And if you forgot, this is a Valentine's Day project. So um, I'm using Valentine's Day color, so here. I'm just gonna cut it across. And I'm only using two colors because I would also like to practice my patterns. So let me just keep cutting it straight across. And my tissue paper, it's already folded. That's why um, I just can let it stay folded and cut it across because when you open it, you will have a long strip, okay? So you don't have um, a hard time of cutting it when it's open. It's better if it's tissue paper, it's better when you keep it closed, okay? And maybe I just need a few more strips. So let me see. Here's another set of strips. 
and it doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to look very nice when it's on your toilet sock your wind sock there okay all right so let me put all of my red together and then put the white ones together here put these to the side because we no longer need it i forgot we do need blue though okay so we will also need blue that's the part i forgot there let's put this open it up this is a glue stick i'm just going to open it until i see a little bit i don't need too much like this that's way too much because that can break and not just that you you can get it all over the place so we just need a little bit to stick out okay just a little bit of glue to stick out we're going to take one strip it doesn't matter what color, but remember our AB patterns, it's it's like taking turns. It's the white turn and then the red turn. White turn and the red turn, okay? Now what you are going to do is put just a little bit of glue on the top of your strip here, just a tiny bit. Then we're going to pick up our wind chime, our wind sock here, hopefully it's dry. If it's not, just be very careful and wait until it's dry. Okay, we've got one wind sock there. All right, do you remember what color comes next? That was white. Now, let's get red. Let's see. Get a little bit of blue on here. Then let's pick up our wind sock. And you see how the white is here? We're not going to go on top of it. We are going to go next to it, okay? So glue the red next to it, just like this. Oh, there we go. Try your best to press on it. And you see how it's now glued? Okay, got white, red, you know, let me go ahead and do it like this. And I'm going to, here's red, white, and we are going to, we could do red again. We do not want the same colors next to each other. So let's see. Let's go red here. Put blue on there. And then I'm going to stick it on here like this. Okay, what comes next? Next to the red, we could put blue on white. So let me see. Depending on how big or small you cut your strips, you might be able to fit more or less strips on there, okay? So because my strips are kind of thin, I'm just gonna leave it like this because if I do any more, they may not fit. Okay, so here we go. All right, so here is my wind sock and I am going to, let's see, it's not completely dry, but it's I think dry enough where I can show you the other part. So you're wondering why I also have white paint here. I'm going to use my little dauber here, my little daubering paint, and I'm going to daub some little white dots on there. So that is to decorate my um, wind sock. You see how I have this here? Now, not everybody has this type of a dauber, right? You don't have to do this. You can just use a Sharpie to draw hearts on here. And if I had stickers, I would use Valentine stickers to um, put on my wind chime, okay? So you can use all sorts of things. You could even use markers and draw hearts or draw dots, decorate your wind sock however you like. Let me just do one more. Oop, I think I put too much paint here on this one. You see how we have our wind chime here? Tried my very best to decorate that. Then here's what, let me give it a, maybe about a minute to dry here. And let me show you the next step. The next step, I wanna hang this. So I'm going to get some of my ribbons and I'm just going to get a long piece. I don't need to cut both sides. I just need to cut one side here, okay? So here's a long strip of ribbon here. And then I'm going to put it to the side, grab my windsock again. I'm gonna pretend like this is completely dry. 
Get your little hole puncher and we're gonna punch two sides, okay? So here, let me see if I can do it this way. Here's one, oh, <laughs> try my best here. One side here and go to the other side and hole punch. All right, you see how I hole punch one, two, and they're opposite of each other, okay? The two sides are opposite, <coughs> excuse me. And what we are going to do is put this, set this down as well as we can. We're going to use our ribbon now. We are going to tie, we could do it two ways. We could let it go through both. Uh, there we go. I'm getting paint all over me. This is why it's important to let it dry before <laughs> you start doing this part. All right, you see how I put my ribbon through both holes? Okay, now the ends, I need to tie this. This might be harder for you. So you might have to ask an adult to help you with tying the ends together here. All right, friends, here we go. Now it's ready to go. You can play with it or hang it outside your door. Here and let the wind carry it away. All right, friends, I hope you enjoy this Valentine's activity.